This is Jim Edgar, Panther Creek, State Fish and Wildlife Area. The weather today is going to be, in the words of the National Weather Service, good for burning. Southwesterly winds will be light during the morning, but increased around 10 miles per hour during the afternoon. Very, very active fire weather today with the low RH, with the stronger winds, with the higher temperatures. With burning over 4,200 acres, it's gonna put up a lot of smoke. This is a large grassland site with some interspersed timber. Our goal is to set back the woody encroachment and nutrient cycling in the prairies and woodlands. We're gonna promoting habitat for a state a listed species, the ornate box turtle. We're removing thatch to allow the cerecia treatment that we have ongoing out here on a large scale to occur. Prepare some areas for broadcast seeding promoting habitat for grassland birds and reducing invasive exotic species in the woodlands and woodland edges. If things go sideways, the contingency plans, we're gonna do direct attack initially if it jumps the line. If it jumps the line, the first thing you do is let your line boss and the burn boss know. And we did locate the lost tractor that was reported this morning out here. The farmer was not sure where it was, but he found it at his house, so. <laughs> the biggest risks are gonna be traffic and public looky-loos around here. People will be coming out. They really do like to come look at fire. Personal safety is absolutely the highest priority. I don't want anything happening to my crew members. And then after that, it's we wanna make sure that the fire stays where it's supposed to stay. That's the goal, keep everybody safe. On this crew, there's everybody from people that have got over 30 years of experience in prescribed fire to people that this is their first burn ever they're on. Our power poles, so the interior crew is going to be going in and lighting around those to make sure that we don't just send fire right at them and make sure that they're secured. So now we have the site broken into nine burn units and we burn two of those units maximum each year.